How's everybody doing? So today I'm gonna to kind of be going through a budget build on this uh, Ruger American Predator chambered in 243. Uh, this right here is just straight factory, currently the way it sets. Uh, still has the plastic um, Ruger stock that comes from the factory on it. And then what I'm gonna be doing in this video is just showing you how to install this into uh, the Magpul Hunter American stock. I purchased this stock used and the build quality as always with Magpul uh, You know, it's that polymer hard plastic stuff, but the build quality compared to the factory uh, Ruger American stock is just um, It's pretty much night and day difference. There's hardly any flex in the fore end uh, just very solid construction and then I'll kind of show you guys how the uh, chassis bedding works here. It's almost like a, a rifle chassis system. It has these two mounting blocks here provided with it. Once you get the action secured into this, you can just tell it's a really secure, uh, firm, you know, solid uh, finish. I've already taken this and purchased a Magpul M lock uh, bipod and sling swivel uh, mounting plate. So you can see here I've got the Harris bipod mounted right here and then this the sling uh, just mounts directly below the Harris bipod. I've got my sling on here already and then uh, on the back I just ran that through the provided uh, sling attachment point here on the buttstock. So a few nice things on this, this does have an adjustable uh, length of pull. You can take these different plates here which I'm not using but you can take these, take these screws out here on the back and these plates you can see here the plates will actually go in and add you more length of pull so you can put these spacers in and your butt pad gets further back so it fits you know the user so it fits the end user you know perfectly however you need to get it set up and then it comes with this standard cheek riser and then from Magpul you can purchase different sizes of these. So I'm just going to get started here and take the action out of the factory stock by just simply taking out these two screws. Uh, we do, I would typically be doing this on my uh, reloading workbench, but a little better camera view out here. So sit here on the computer desk and do this. So that Action is out of the factory stock. Set that to the side. Now, we'll take this. Then what you wanna do first is you wanna take the action and barrel assembly, put it in first before you put in your bottom metal and trigger guard because you've gotta put a couple of screws in first before the bottom metal goes in. And then after those two are in, then you'll put in your bottom metal. That's got a couple tabs on it and you can, you could hear that there. It just kind of snaps right into place. The front of it will be sitting pretty flush. And it's as easy as that. And you can tell this thing is fully free float. Take a piece of paper here and there's plenty of room. There's, and you can tell just by the naked eye, plenty of room, it's fully free floated. No part of the barrel is touching the stock. So what I've done here is I had an extra uh, oversized bolt handle. It was actually for an existing Remington 700 that I've since sold, but it had some uh, different attachment pieces with it that allowed me to match it up and it actually fit really nicely on this uh, Ruger bolt hand. So this Magpul Hunter American stock comes with uh, one of the AICS style uh, P-Mags and just wanted to show you kind of the difference of what that looks like between the two. This is a standard uh, P-Mag that would go with like an AR-10 or I actually use this one for my Ruger RPR, but you can tell the differences here between the two. This will not work with the Magpul Hunter American. The AICS style does work. 
and then you can tell the bottom followers are a little bit different. This one here is the one that comes with it. This is a standard AR-10 uh, PMAG. So out of the box, the Ruger American performed really well for me, but I did not like that flimsy, cheap, uh, lightweight stock that comes with it. Um, so I wanted to keep this kind of budget friendly somewhat, but I did want uh, an aftermarket stock and didn't want to, you know, go out and spend a thousand dollars or six hundred dollars on a Manners or a McMillan. So um, I went with the Magpul. This is the first Magpul style stock that I've had for a rifle, and overall been very pleased with it up to this point. I uh, like the fully adjustable cheek riser, and then the fully um, adjustable buttstock pieces here that you can add to it or take away from to allow it to to fit up to the individual user. Uh, it's got M-lock on the bottom here for the bipod attachment, and then it's got M-lock panels on the side. The mags fit in real nice. See what it looks like there with the mag in. Has these big paddles here, just right in front of the trigger, push forward, and those drop right out. So for the price of this, I don't really think you can go wrong. It does add a little extra weight to the rifle, but I'm not really too concerned about that. I don't notice it a whole lot uh, when I'm carrying it. Have a good solid sling on it and just throw it over your shoulder and get on your way with the hunt. But what I'll do now is I'll just go outside and shoot a few rounds through this, see how it performs. Uh, I do have an attachment here on the end for uh, threading my suppressor on. So I'll throw the suppressor on and uh, we'll go take a few shots, see how it performs. All right, we'll go check out the target after shooting that three round group there. Uh, this is just straight off of the factory stock into the Magpul stock, and we'll see how it performed. There we go, just a tad bit low. One, two, three. That one got away from me just a little bit. But for me, that is minute of coyote, and this is gonna be a coyote rifle, so that should get it done. So pretty happy with that performance. Just bolt it right in there. Takes three or four minutes. Held zero really well. I don't think I'm gonna adjust anything. I might go one or two clicks up, uh, but I'm not too worried about that. As always, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing. And those of you guys that you know interact with the videos, ask questions down in the comments below, provide input. Um, you know, it's just a great community here. So I just want to say thanks to all you guys and I'm pretty excited to see where this channel heads. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. Uh, plan to get this rifle out and do a lot of coyote hunting with it. So hopefully gonna bring some footage to you guys. Uh, some coyote kills and as always appreciate you guys following along happy hunting be safe see you guys bye